Hey, what's going on YouTube? So it's Nathan back with another one bringing to you a new video. So today we're going to be talking about the Amazon Fire Stick today and we're going to go and dive into a new feature that was just added on the Amazon Fire Stick. We're also going to be talking about how to eliminate buffering on your Amazon Fire Stick. So let's go ahead and jump into the settings really quick. So let's go over to the settings. Once we're on the settings, go down. We're going to go ahead and head to network. Let's go ahead and click on network once we're hovered over it. And then you're gonna find your network connection. Mine is Carter. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the play button on the Fire Stick remote. Once you have found your internet connection, you'll notice that you'll have additional features in here. So you have advanced now, and then you have run speed test, which is huge because we don't need to go out and download an additional app to run a speed test on the Amazon Fire Stick. So once we are hovered over the Amazon Fire Stick run speed test button, Go ahead and click on run speed test just to go ahead and test your connection to make sure it's fast enough to stream your content. All you need are these settings here to have a good streaming experience. If your internet speed connection is higher than that, then you should be good to stream good content. Also keep in mind if your internet speed is beyond faster than that, then you should have a seamless experience. And if you're not, then it's not related to internet, it's related to hardware, but we'll get to that. So in the midst of that, we did get our internet speed feedback from the Amazon Fire Stick. It says my internet speed is 317 megabits per second. So I think that's aligned with what I pay for for my internet speed package. Just to do a cross comparison, just to make sure that the Amazon Fire Stick is picking up what it is supposed to be picking up as far as internet speed goes. I'm gonna go ahead and click on my home button. And then I wanna go ahead and download an additional speed test app on my Amazon Fire Stick. So I'm gonna go to the search and go to the magnifying glass. And in here, I'm gonna go ahead and type in speed. As I type in speed, I'm gonna go ahead and go down to the first search result, which is speed tests. So let's click on speed tests. And then I normally use this one here, speed test Wi-Fi analyzer. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. I've already downloaded it for the purpose of this video, but you wanna go ahead and install that one on your device if you wanna do a cross comparison. Otherwise, you don't need this app anymore. You can just run your speed test on your Amazon Fire Stick. So let's open this up really quick. The only reason you would need an app like this is just to get a clear definition on what type of content you can stream based on your internet connection. So I'm running here at 335 megabits per second, give or take, on the Wi-Fi analyzer when I run the speed test. And it does say I'm able to stream content all the way upwards of 8K, 4K, and 1080p. So that's great. I have green check marks all the way through. You want to make sure that you get all green check marks or at least at least the minimum you want to be at a 1080p and have green check marks. So after running the speed test, I have confirmed that the speed test on the Amazon Fire Stick that's built in now the new feature, it is pretty accurate. So we can definitely rule out that we don't need an additional app and we can just run the speed test straight from the network tab on the Amazon Fire Stick, which is great. The next thing that we can do to eliminate buffering on the Amazon Fire Stick is to head to our settings here and then we'll go down to My Fire TV, click on My Fire TV, and then all we have to do is click on our restart button. Restart helps tremendously, especially if you're having trouble, just random stuff. Amazon Fire Stick device is freezing. It's not playing what you want to play. It's kind of lagging a bit. You want to just go and click that restart button and that'll definitely take care of that. It'll say Fire TV Stick turning off and then it'll restart and come right back up. All right, so one additional thing that you can do if you're still experiencing buffering, you can go ahead and head to the settings and there are a few settings that you can manipulate to have a better experience on the Amazon Fire Stick. So if we head to the settings and go down and we're looking for preferences, if we go to the preferences and click on preferences, in here, the number one setting in here that takes up the most space or the most RAM on your Amazon Fire Stick as far as running things in the background, you wanna go down to featured content. If you click on featured content, as long as you have these two set to off, allow video autoplay and allow audio autoplay, that way nothing is running immediately on the background of the Amazon Fire Stick home screen while you're trying to browse items. So if you turn this off and turn audio autoplay off, 
So why are we turning off video autoplay? Mainly because on the background, on those big banners that you see on the Amazon Fire Stick, they're either streaming in the background in 1080p or in 4K. And then as far as the audio autoplay, it's streaming in high definition, most likely depending on your settings. So that's going to take up the most space or the most RAM on your device. And you want to turn that off to eliminate that. All right. So the last tip that I have for you, we're going to go to the find section. We're going to search for an app. This app you should be very familiar with. We're gonna search for an app. This app is called Def Squid. I use this app all the time. There's also an app called Background Process List that you can check out, but they do the same thing. Let's open up Def Squid. All right, so recently I did do a video to let you know that this feature was locked. This app is completely locked down. If you don't have the code, if this is your first time using it, use this code right here and it should be universal enough to get you access to the features in this app. If it doesn't work, you can head to their website, devsquid.com, and put in your email address to get the code. But let's go ahead and proceed. We'll click on Manage Apps. And then in here, this app allows us to force stop apps that are running in the background. So right now I have Plex running in the background. I have the speed test running in the background. I got Sling TV running in the background. I have Pluto running in the background. There's not many apps running in the background, but let's say all of these apps are running in the background at one time. And I have seen at some points in time where I do have like 10 apps running in the background, 15 apps running in the background, and I do notice a little sluggishness with my device. So if you come in here and just click on force stop, and then you wanna go down and click on force stop. Once again, click your back button. You'll notice that the device notices that Pluto TV is not running in the background anymore, which give us more RAM to do other things with on our Amazon Fire Stick. So let's go up and we'll do the same for Sling TV and we'll force stop. Click the back button. It's pretty straightforward. Also, you can do a little cleanup in here if you don't want apps. You can do an uninstall. So let's say if I don't want FX now, you can do an uninstall which frees up space on your device as well. So storage space is gonna slow down your device as well. So anytime you have the opportunity to uninstall apps, to free up a little bit of space, that definitely is a tremendous help. So once you force stop those apps, you should be golden. Also, this is an advanced tip. If you're using third-party apps, to stream movies, TV shows, you can definitely head over to the Patreon. I have advanced tips to eliminate buffering using those specific apps. So definitely check out that. Link will be in the description below if you're interested in that. But I hope this helps with eliminating buffering. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.